Have you guys ever heard of the Jersey Devil? It's a mythical creature from southern New Jersey. It's said to be a flying creature with hooves, but no one really seems to agree on exactly what it looks like. Some compare it to a goat, others compare it to a bat. It's a horrifying, evil creature known to devour small animals. Many believe it to be nothing but an urban myth, a work of fiction, like Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, and Sonic Adventure 3. But as it turns out, the Jersey Devil is very real. The PlayStation 1 video game appropriately titled Jersey Devil proves it. And it turns out, he looks like a Looney Tunes character. You know, I was actually imagining something a lot scarier. The game starts off with an origin story that's not even really an origin at all, just an honestly pretty poorly animated cutscene showing some evil doctor finding the baby Jersey Devil and then getting rid of him. Then fast forward and he's a superhero, I guess. There's certainly another superhero related video game that I'd rather be playing right now. Anyway, this cutscene really explained a lot. Except for who this evil doctor is, what his ambitions are, where this little demon baby came from, what it is, and anything else. Great start, game. Great start. Alright, so it's a 3D platformer, my personal favorite genre. So you can imagine how honestly pretty excited I was to play it. That excitement was not warranted. This game just screams middle of the road. Like, if the video game actually could physically scream something, that's what it would be. In this game, your goal in each level is to collect five letters and then go through a newly unlocked door. To do this, you jump from platform to platform, kill enemies, and... Well, I guess solve puzzles, but it's hard to call any of this actual puzzle solving. The Jersey Devil himself, being a superhero, really can't do much. You can walk around, you can punch things, spin in the air, glide, sort of. And that's about it. The control is just bad. Sure, it looks like a control's fine, and at least it doesn't have tank controls, but it's just not that good. Walking around doesn't feel very good, it's just a bit too touchy, and you don't really jump very high or far, making simple platforming just laborious. Add on the fact that you can't run, and yeah, merely platforming around is made incredibly unpleasant. Is there even anything else to say? I mean, this game already failed at the most important thing, controls. I guess I'll keep going. No, focus! So yeah, every jump you make feels like you're fighting against the game already with how limited your movement is. So how about we make it worse? The glide ability that you have is awful. You press and hold the triangle button in the air to activate it. But when you do, you pause in the air while he extends his wings. And then he floats down slowly. This kills any momentum that you may have. That is, if you even had any momentum, since you can't run in this game, there really isn't any at all. Once again, making the platforming and movement feel much slower and just very robotic. Oh, and the camera rotates around you very slowly, which is annoying. And there's no button to center the camera behind you. Even with all of those complaints and critiques, though, the combat is even worse. You have this awful little punch with basically no range. You can do a Crash Bandicoot-style spin attack, which is much better, but you can only do that when you're in the air. So you end up jump attacking a lot when, honestly, you should just be able to spin on the ground. I shouldn't have to jump. It's also pretty difficult to tell when it's okay to hit an enemy, which results in taking a lot of damage. This big plant enemy is a pretty good example. It's really unpredictable. It looks like he attacks twice and then pauses, giving you a chance to attack him. And that is the case sometimes. And other times he'll attack you twice, pause, and then right when I go to attack him, he stops pausing and he attacks me again, and then pauses. It's just random. 
This goes for a lot of enemies. It's really hard to learn their patterns and even see when you can hurt them. It's really annoying. Oh, and I feel the need to mention that you can push blocks in this game. Apparently that was a popular thing to do in games back then. For some reason, it's slow and it's not fun, so I'm not really sure why. And it's often pretty difficult to tell what you are and aren't allowed to push. It isn't always the most obvious thing. The level design in this game is... Well, actually, apart from a few sections, most of the level design actually isn't that bad. It's also not that good, but it's not terrible. But of course there are some exceptions. Why wouldn't there be? I reached this large circular room with a rock rolling around in it, and I was stuck. None of these doors open. They're all locked. I was trapped. Until I eventually learned that you're supposed to stand in the middle of the room and jump on the circle in the middle. Which... I guess for some reason, makes the door open. There's not even any real indication that it does anything. You just have to look around and notice that one of the doors is now open. There was also this section. I entered a door and now I'm trapped. There's nowhere to go. I can't jump over these boxes. This gate over here is closed. And I can't even go back through the way I came from. There was a TNT barrel. I tried to use it on the gate to open it maybe. I either messed it up or it didn't work and now it's gone. It took me forever to realize that, oh my god, I hate this game, I really do. You have to jump in this spot, and it breaks the floor. In this one specific spot. There's no reason to this, I never would have figured it out if it weren't for the internet. This breakable floor wasn't even put somewhere where I would usually be jumping, so I never would have even accidentally jumped here and realized that the floor moves. And don't you just love it when a game turns you around when something's chasing you from behind? Giving the game a more cinematic feel, I guess, but making it so I can't see where I'm going? Because I love it. I love it to bits. To be fair, this isn't something that happens a lot, it just happened once or twice, but it's still something that annoys me in games. And this death just speaks for itself. Once more. Let's see me die there once more. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of game this game is sometimes. To be fair though, most of this game is designed fine. You run around looking for hidden collectibles and jump from platform to platform. Honestly, if the control was better, then these levels might be somewhat fun. But sadly, I still say somewhat because... Yeah, this game and its levels might not be the worst, but they're certainly nothing special. What more is there? I, I guess next I'll talk about the graphics and music and all that. Soon. Soon. The graphics? Well, I guess they're a mixed bag. For the most part, the game is colorful, which I enjoy, and many of the game's character models look fine for a PS1 game. Some of them, though, do not look very good at all, even for back then. And even for the ones that look good, the animations could definitely be better. For a game that's definitely going for a cartoony style look, I mean, it has an animated opening and everything, I expected the animations to closer resemble something like Crash Bandicoot or Spyro. For everything to move around in really wacky and cartoony ways. Mostly I'm talking about the Jersey Devil himself, honestly, because his animations are pretty basic. The music is... actually, it's fairly good. The songs in this game are well composed. Honestly, they're better than this game deserves. But I still can't really say that the soundtrack is great. The songs may be well played and high in quality, but none of the music in this game really felt memorable or catchy. You know what the problem with this game is? It's that all this platforming, killing of enemies, running around, all of that, doesn't feel like playing a game. It feels like doing chores. This game is not designed in a way to be fun. I mean, I'm sure that's what they were going for. You'd have to be a pretty sadistic person to make a video game with the purpose of it being boring, but they failed. They just failed. It is boring. But let me just say this now. This game is a hundred times better than Bubsy 3D and Rascal. Those games were just atrocious. Every complaint that I've had about this game is multiplied a million times for those two games. And then there's also a million other complaints on top of that. 
Jersey Devil looks better, sounds better, controls better, and is designed better than those games. But honestly, in a weird way, I think I actually had a worse time playing this game. I know that doesn't really make much sense, it's inherently better, but stay with me. Rascal and Bubsy 3D are awful. They are awful games, but at least there I could marvel at how bad they were. They were so bad that they were kind of amusing. Sure, they were still incredibly annoying, tedious, difficult as all hell, and just plain rage-inducing, but at least they were challenging. Which kept me interested to a certain extent. At least I cared enough that I could rant about them for a very long time and point out the many things that were wrong about them. This game is mostly just kind of boring. Honestly, I'd probably even made it sound worse than it was, because, well, there's only so much I can say about such a mediocre game. It hardly ever even switches things up, and the few times that the game does try to switch things up in a unique and funny way, it just doesn't work. Like this part here where you have to win in a basketball match, which should have been a fun minigame style boss fight, but it ends up just being clunky, ugly, boring, time consuming, and not in the slightest bit fun. You just run around hitting this guy and taking the ball from him, and then running around in circles attempting to dunk the ball into the net, which you usually can't even see, until you finally manage to find the right spot where it'll go in. And then you just do that five times. So much fun. And hell, to add to the boredom that I felt with this game, I eventually just stopped trying. Because even when I was faced with a really badly designed boss fight where I died again and again and again and again, I never ran out of lives. This game just tosses extra lives at you, left and right. It's almost like they knew that they had a boring game with some tedious and difficult parts in it. I mean, they really give you a lot of extra lives. I cannot stress that enough. Death basically means nothing in this game. It's just a minor inconvenience. Eventually, I had to quit. I didn't beat this game. I managed to get through an insanely long and boring sewer section, and then a short time later, I entered another identical looking sewer section. And that's when I just had it. I snapped. I literally couldn't keep playing. I was starting to have trouble even paying attention to the game. And that's where Bubsy 3D weirdly beats it. That game was so bad that it was constantly surprising me at how bad it was. This game honestly gave me very little in the way of fun, but I still can't say that it's completely awful. There are way worse games technically, 3D platformers and otherwise, but yeah, this is a very mediocre game. It's incredibly bland and boring. And it's a shame, because even just a few small tweaks and this game could have been better. Not great, but better. Improve the controls, first of all, better attack, better glide, add a run button, also revamp the animations, fix a few design flaws here and there, and there you go, an above mediocre game. Still not great, but definitely better without completely revamping the entire game from the ground up. Oh, oh right. Um, so yeah, uh, it's pretty much everything I have to say. This game is pretty boring and mediocre, and really it's honestly pretty boring to talk about as well as play. Now, that may be because there's a certain other video game that's out right now, and I just want to stop talking about this one so I can play that one, but um, um, I don't, I, I lost my train of thought, I'm just gonna play, I'm gonna keep playing. That was lame, too. Oh, I'm up? Okay. 